what is going on guys welcome to the video in today's video i'm going to be taking you guys through everything that i have in my gym bag i carry a lot of stuff in my gym bag i won't lie from elbow sleeves to knee sleeves to resistance bands and everything else so today i'm going to be taking you guys through what i keep in my gym bag what its purpose is and you know then you can decide whether or not you think you should be keeping it in your gym bag or not so without further ado sit back relax and enjoy the video <laughs> So I got all my gym equipment laid out in front of me here, so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of dive into everything. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of let you know um, why it is that I use it, what I use it for, and then you can decide whether you think it's something that you need in your arsenal or not. So obviously when it comes to what I keep in my gym bag, the first thing that you're going to need is going to be a gym bag. Now there's a lot of gym bags out there and I have used a lot of different bags over the years, but this is definitely the best one that I have found. So this is a wolf pack. If you're not familiar with wolf packs, this is what one of these is and this is really really fantastic so this is the 45 liter meal management pack and what this means is that in this compartment here you can actually hold three different meal prep containers that the bag itself comes with when you purchase it so let's go ahead and open it here so in here it's got these little elastic you can go ahead and hold the three different meal prep containers and then it also comes with this which is a nice little ice pack that you just go ahead fill up with water freeze it and then you can go ahead and put it in here and it's going to keep your meals cool all day long so this is really handy if you are a student if you're traveling long days you work long days whatever it may be and you need to take your meals with you on the go this is going to be really fantastic it has a secondary small utility pouch up at the top here um, this is just great if you want to hold like your phone your wallet your keys different things like that you can go ahead and throw them in there it also has some velcro on the front that you can go ahead and put some patches to next compartment is going to be the second biggest compartment this one's really good it's got a little bit of netting in here some little organizers that you can go ahead and throw some stuff into you know pen paper notebook whatever it is you want to throw in there so it's overall really fantastic and then lastly we just have the big main compartment here which has two big pouches here that you can go ahead and hold stuff in which apparently I have some pre-workout in that just fell out of. Um, so overall this is a really really fantastic backpack. I've been using this bag for probably a little over a year now and it's something that I really really like. I like having the ability to carry my meals with me if I need to and then it's also just such a large pack that it can hold a lot of stuff. Okay now that I have showed you what backpack I use we're going to go ahead and dive into a little bit of what I actually keep in my bag that I use with me throughout my workouts. First thing that I have here is going to be wrist wraps. These are really, really fantastic for helping protect your wrist joints when you're doing any heavy pressing movements, whether that's you know heavy incline dumbbell pressing, machine pressing, bench pressing, whatever it may be. These are really, really fantastic. These are a bit of a softer wrist wrap. This is from Anaka Power. So I do like these ones because they are a little bit softer um, and they have a little bit more stretch to them when it comes to the um, you know elasticity of them because you will find that some wrist wraps are a little bit harder than others so I've been using Anaka's wrist wraps for quite a few years now and I really really do like them um, I have several different pairs of them so if you're looking for something a little bit softer I definitely would go with the Anaka wrist wraps just as a point I will have all of this equipment linked down in the description below so if you guys want to check out any of this equipment for yourself you can go ahead and find it there next that I'm going to have is going to be some knee sleeves for me I really think knee sleeves are essential when it comes to you know any leg day if you're doing any heavy you know pressing movements whether you're doing like a really heavy squat a hack squat if you're doing really heavy leg press I think it's good to have this extra support on your knee because um, so many people hurt themselves they have knee pain they find that you know they have injuries to their knee when it comes to doing heavy leg exercises so I really like having some knee support I've been using knee sleeves for quite a few years now and it's something that I always make sure I have with me on my leg day again you can see that these ones from are from a knockup power these ones are seven millimeter knee sleeves which most knee sleeves nowadays if you are getting a good quality knee sleeve should be seven millimeter and that just basically means the thickness of the neoprene um, so these ones are really good and then also on the inside they also have these little rubberized pieces which keep the knee sleeve from sliding up and down your leg so it's going to keep it nice and secure and it's going to keep it in place very easily so again knee sleeves are something that are super essential for me when it comes to any leg day because I want to make sure that I have that extra support and extra um, just safety around my knee it's a little bit of peace of mind too to make sure that I'm not snapping my shit up. <laughs> 
Next type of support I'm going to have is going to be some sort of elbow sleeves. Elbow sleeves is something that I've really only been using in the past couple of years, but I do find that I really like them when it comes to any heavy pressing movements. Just like with the wrist wraps, I find that it's really useful when it comes to any heavy pressing movements because it's just going to give you that little bit of extra support. It's going to put warmth in the joint, which is also going to help provide blood flow to the joint, which is going to make it so that you're at a less risk for injury. So these ones are from Jim Reaper and these are five millimeter neoprene sleeve so again that's the thickness of the sleeve um, and these ones I've only been using for a couple months but so far I really really like them they're nice and soft they're nice and flexible they have a lot of stretch to them so it makes it so that they're not uncomfortable to wear for long periods of time because next up is going to be lifting straps these are going to help you when it comes to heavy pulling movements I find that a lot of people actually should be using lifting straps just for the fact that when it comes to you know whether you're doing a deadlift if you're doing maybe an RDL if you're doing back movements is that a lot of people's grip is going to give out before their actual muscle is whether that's your back whether that's your hamstrings whatever it is that you are doing the exercise for is people's grip is going to give out before that actual working muscle will so this eliminates that using a set of lifting straps is going to eliminate the limiting factor of your grip so these ones are from hostile and these ones are really really nice because they have this big thick pad here that is going to go ahead and provide some comfort when you are actually using the strap and when you're actually lifting heavy and then not to mention it also has a rubberized logo here on it and it's not just for looks the rubberized logo also helps to provide extra grip um, on the bar for example if you are doing say a deadlift so these are a really fantastic option if you are looking for some uh, lifting straps finally the last form of grips that we have is going to be um, kind of like a versa style grip this is from rise actually so as you can see there's this big rubber pad here so essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap this around your wrist and and then you're gonna have this big rubber pad here. The nice thing about these ones is that they are just very quick grip. With the lifting straps, you have to kind of like wrap them around, whereas this, you can just either go ahead and just have it in your hand and grab over whatever it is that you are trying to grip, or you can kind of fold it and put it underneath whatever you are trying to grip. So they're just a little bit of a different option. Um, they're a lot quicker than using a traditional lifting strap, but again, it's just gonna kind of come down to personal preference and which one you want to use. Next up is going to be a lifting belt. Lifting belts are really, really great for providing support when it comes to really heavy movements. I will only use my lifting belt on you know heavy movements such as like a squat, for example, a deadlift are gonna be kind of the main exercises that I use a belt on. And the idea with this is this is something that you're gonna go ahead and use to help create intra-abdominal pressure. So basically, when we brace our core, like I've talked about in different videos before, if you go ahead and you kind of breathe down into your stomach, you tighten your abs and you brace your core, this this is going to give you something to brace against. So you're basically going to push out against the belt because the idea is that you'll be wearing the belt, the belt will be tight, and it'll allow you to have something to press against, helping create that intra-abdominal pressure, which is going to stabilize your spine. So when it comes to lifting belts, there's a couple different ones. This is a soft leather lifting belt from Gas. So this one is just a double prong system. So it's just going to go ahead and have the holes in it, like you know a standard belt would that you use to hold up your pants. Or the other form of belt that you can use is going to be a lever belt. So I do like the lever belt simply for the fact that what you do basically is you go ahead and you lock the lever belt in. And then what you can do is once you're done, you just unlatch it and it's gonna go ahead and loosen it. Whereas with the double prong one that I just showed you guys, that one you're gonna have to take on and off after each set. Whereas this one you can keep on and you just unlatch it. So these lever belts are really fantastic depending on how long you're gonna be using it for. If you're only gonna be using it for like one or two sets, then the double prong one is gonna be perfectly fine. But if you're gonna use it for a lot more sets than that, then a lever belt's really, really useful. Again, this one is from Anaka Power as well, which I will have the link for in the description below if you want to go ahead and check this out okay next up here we are going to have a gym pin so this is something that I have just been using recently um, and essentially what this does is this goes ahead and this sticks into the stack of a weight machine if it is a pin loaded weight machine and it's gonna allow you to add extra weight to the machine let's say that you've maxed out a machine for example you just go ahead you take this you stick it in the stack and then this is the size of a standard barbell so you can go ahead and slide plates on here so you can slide 
slide a 45 on here, a 25, 245, whatever it is that you need to make sure that you are continuing to progress. So this is really fantastic to have in your arsenal. If you found that for some reason you are getting too strong than the machines at your gym, then you can have this in your bag to just go ahead and increase that stack weight when you were getting too strong for the machines. Next up is going to be cuffs. This is something that is really, really important that I think is a very underrated piece of kit when it comes to your gym bag. Um, these are technically ankle straps, but I like to use them as wrist cuffs because I will use these for different things such as like cuffed lateral raises or single arm cuffed pullovers. The benefit of using cuffs is we are taking our grip out of it because again, like I said, our grip can be a limiting factor for some exercises. And then not to mention, once we start gripping something, we start getting our forearm muscles involved, we might start getting our biceps involved, and we're really just missing what it is that we are actually trying to work, whether that is our back, whether that is our shoulders, whatever it is, whatever exercise that you are using them for. So utilizing cuffs really allows us to take that out of it and really allows us to nail down that movement that we are trying to achieve. This is definitely something that I would have in your gym bag because these are gonna come in handy for doing lots of great exercises. Next up is going to be a resistance band. The main thing that I use a resistance band for is going to be for reverse banding exercises. I've talked about reverse banding on my Instagram. Um, and basically what it does is that as, you know, say we do a Smith machine shoulder press, as the bar gets lower and lower and lower, the band is gonna stretch and it's gonna make it a little bit easier at the bottom range of motion. This is gonna make it safer on our shoulders, for example, if we're doing a shoulder press, but it's also going to change the strength profile of the exercise because it's gonna be lightest where we are weakest and it's going to be heaviest where we are strongest. So that's mainly what I like using the resistance band for. And obviously if you are going to do a reverse band setup, you're going to need something to actually hook the resistance band to the Smith machine. So what I have set up here is I just have another wrist cuff here because this allows me to just attach the wrist cuff around the top of the Smith machine. And then I just have two carabiners here, a really big carabiner and then a smaller carabiner, depending on what length I need, that is going to go ahead and allow me to hook the resistance band to that which is therefore going to allow me to set up the reverse band so maybe i'll do a future video talking about reverse banding more so let me know in the comments below if that is something that you guys would like if you'd like me to do a video talking a bit more about reverse banding exercises and then maybe showing you the setup that i use for those exercises Next up is going to be headphones. Obviously, I should have done this at the start, but if you don't have headphones in your bag, what are you doing? Because nine times out of 10, the music in the gym is not that good, so you wanna be listening to your own music. So I just have some Bluetooth wireless headphones here. Again, if you don't have wireless headphones in 2023, what are you doing? Because you should have wireless headphones. You can pick them up for like 30, $40 on Amazon. These are Power Beats. Um, I've been using these for three or four years now, and they are pretty good. I like them because they kind of hook over my ear, so I don't find that they ever fall out. Um, so definitely make sure that you do have a good pair of headphones when it comes to your gym bag. But as you can see, uh, I keep a lot of stuff in my gym bag. I don't keep all of that stuff in my gym bag all at once. I kind of pick and choose what I need on the day. Um, but as you guys saw, there is quite a bit of stuff there. Now I'm not saying that all of this is absolutely necessary. Some of it is going to be dependent on you know your goals. Some of it's going to be dependent on where you are at in your fitness journey. But of course, if you do have any questions about anything that we covered in this video, be sure to pop those down in the comments below and I'm more than happy to jump in there and answer any questions that you may have about anything that we talked about in this video and like I said before all of the links to the different products that I covered will be in the description box below so feel free to go check that stuff out for yourself but as always if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on the video as well make sure you guys hit that subscribe button other than that guys I hope you all enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in the next one Peace.